To God be the glory. You all are the glory of the Father. And I love you all so, so very much. I want to bring this encouraging word onto uh, somebody out there. This is perhaps going to be for you the very manifestation of a confirmation to your spirit in what the Father has been speaking to you. And this is how you would know that this is for you. Majority of you in past seasons, you have gone through a time of warfare where it seemed like the battle was not going to end. The enemy kept coming at you from every angle, but yet you continued in a posture of prayer, worship, praise and reading the word and for that reason the bible declares when a gold is taken through fire it comes out as what as pure gold then there is another dimension according to the book of daniel and chapter 3 it says that the hebrew boys they were thrown in the fire and what happened nebuchadnezzar had them brought out because he saw a fourth man like the son of man it was an angel and he brought them out so for that reason, many of you have been in a period and in a time where it seemed like the warfare was never going to end. But the truth is, sometimes the Lord is using this even to bring you higher because it was teaching you how to war in the spirit. But now, in Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 and 2, which reads, Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received from the Lord's hand double for her sins. You can see the very dimension of this word. The Lord is speaking to you today that whatever you have been through in last season, whatever seasons has come against you, that it felt like it was one trouble after the other. It felt like it was one system of what? Lack after the other. It felt like the trouble, the challenges that came against you was never going to end. The Lord is speaking comfort to your heart today. He's speaking comfort to your environment today. And he said to say to you that your warfare has ended, that your iniquity has been pardoned because you have received from the Lord's hand double for your sins. So the Bible says the accuser of the brethren who accuses them day and night has been hurled down. Why? Because it says your iniquity has been pardoned. Your warfare, all that you went through where it seemed like you were not able to come to an end of it. Some of you, you couldn't even sleep at night. That was how bad it got. So some of you, you wondered when rest was actually going to manifest in your life because just when you're about to rest and the trouble looms but now the father tells you today to comfort you and help you to know that your warfare has ended he has brought it all to an end and the egyptians that you see today you shall see them no more amen and amen god bless you i love you stay blessed because you're the blessedness of the father in jesus mighty name amen